Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Coinex and I'm super excited to have you guys back here. It's Christmas and in this Christmas season, Sonable just released Smart EQ4 and today we'll be checking it out. So let's quickly head down to the official website and see what's new. Here on their official website, as you can see, Smart EQ4 is available. So if you're interested to have this, you can at least start by trying it out with the 30 days free trial. And if you like it, you can go ahead and have your own copy. For the sake of those who don't know or who have not yet come across Sonable Smart EQ, Sonable Smart EQ uses AI to correct spectral issues and achieve tonal balance. This equalizer empowers you to approach a project from a mixed perspective. So this is an EQ tool that will automatically analyze your material and suggest a better EQ curve, you know, that will help that material stand out in the mix. Here, the said intelligent cross channel processing for spectral unmasking, AI filter to automatically correct tonal balances, dynamic EQing, mix profiles, reference track features, auto gain. And here is a demo video if you want to know more about it. But feel free, take your time, read through all these things to have a better and clearer understanding of this incredible piece of blogging. But for the sake of time, we're not going to be doing that today. So we'll quickly head down to the DAW and try it out. Okay, we are here inside FL Studio and I have this simple drum that I put together that sounds this way and we'll have a very quick demonstration to see how effective this plugin is. All right, I'll be processing the drums using Smart EQ4, but it's going to be in two phases. The first will be just processing it using Smart EQ, while the second will be, I will alter the quality of the drums and then use Smart EQ on it to see how far Smart EQ can fix the spectral issues. You can clearly hear the difference right the low end got boosted a little bit so now let's try the second phase And as you can see, it really did a good job. It boosted the low and the high to compensate what I rolled off from the drums using this EQ. And also judging from the sound, when I A-beat it, you can hear clearly the difference. All right, let's quickly check out the new features in Smart EQ 4. 
The first is the extensive AI controls make it easy to apply Smart EQ4 intelligence precisely where you want it. And you can now apply spectral mixing techniques across up to 10 channels and create an unmasking hierarchy. You can now work with any source materials with even more instrument profiles. Finally, you can balance entire mixes with new genre profiles or recreate a signature sound by loading up a reference track. So guys, that will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do like, leave your comments, let us know what you think, subscribe and remember to turn on your notification bell for future videos. I'll be leaving the link in the description if you're interested to try it out. It's Christmas and I'm wishing you all the very best in this season. And like always, stay creative, stay safe and see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.